Uh, okay, everybody, uh, here today to talk a little bit about NVIDIA stock. And as you know, the split happened, and right now, uh, as of this morning, it's going for 189 30 cents. It's all morning, it's you know, stayed in the 189 area, just kind of bouncing around in there. Um, they're saying that they're we're kind of expecting a sell off. Um, this morning, I could see that happening, but you know, after that, I think you know people are wanna gonna want to get back in, and from there, it's gonna go up. If you had options, uh, those have also been adjusted to reflect the new price. So um, I do have an option. A little bit out in the future. Um, also, was going to talk a little bit about you know the airlines. Uh, they were down five percent today. United Airlines and up two percent after hours. So I'm thinking about getting uh buying a put. I don't want to really spend too much money. Um, you know, just just a little bet. You know, I don't really want to risk a lot either. But uh, you know, just just a little bet. <laughs> um. So yeah, I was thinking about buying a put on United Airlines today. Definitely. All right. Uh, who else are we gonna talk about? Um. I know I talked to you all about Tiki tokens last time. Well, as you can see, um, volume's kind of low right now, but I think that I may be, with all the selling off that's been going on, I think that my ranking as far as how much Tiki token I have compared to other people has gone up. So, you know, I can still make my, my BNB token, hopefully. Um, I hold it for a year or whatever, but I hope, I'm hoping the volume goes back up again. But you, you, as you know, right now, crypto is having a rough time. Uh, hopefully, you know, some brighter days ahead for crypto. Um, you know, before my last video, I was talking about new egg and new egg options. And, you know, right now in the present, it seems like it's been kind of bearish, but I'm still seeing a bright future. So, the options that I'm looking at are the February 18, 2022 options. Uh, they're, yeah, they're a bit more, but you know, like the $45 buying a call. Yeah, you got to pay a bit more, 460 or whatever. But you know, if it ends up going on a little run like it did last time. You know, there you go, and it's it's known to do that. Well, we've seen in the past couple of weeks. There's no guarantee it'll happen again. This is not financial advice, but uh, I really like this call. The forty-five dollar call um, for February eighteenth, twenty twenty-two. That is all I have for today. Thank you for watching.